If you live in an urban environment or the city and you have a little bit of space and you want to grow your own food, you're going to want to watch this. I'm going to show you how to make a vegetable box. Today's job is a smaller garden box. We're going to put a little three foot box at the back of the house because we need all the room we can get. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all these six foot fence boards at three feet because we want to make a three foot box. Now we need four pieces of two by two, 12 inches long for the corners to give us something to screw to. I uh, apologize for the wind and the noise. I can actually hear the highway pretty clear today for some reason. We now got everything cut. Sideboards are cut at three feet, so it's gonna be three foot square. And the two by twos are cut at 12 inches because it's gonna be 12 inches tall, two boards high. We're using an inch and a half coated deck screw because I don't want them to rust. And uh, we're gonna get this screwed together here and I might speed it up just so you don't have to sit and watch me put a screw in. Robertson screw heads but because of the coating on here that'll sit there for now but the minute you start turning it they all want to pop off note to self next time I might just go the regular screw because this is a pain in my behind all right here we are this is our three foot square box. See it's a, about two inches off the ground right there, which is exactly what I want. These are even with the top. I have a couple extra boards there because I'm sure she's gonna want another one. But for now, it's just one. Now we gotta figure out where to put it. Now she's originally suggesting she wants it in this area right here, which is okay. Um, I don't wanna put it over there because the dogs always mess along there and I gotta get rid of that pile. Once that pile of wood's gone, Chances are we're going to put one of them boxes over there. It looks like i got to move this piece of steel and then the lattice. And we'll set it down there. But we still got to put the weed mat in. I think I have some. Let me check. Yeah, I do have a roll of weed mat right here. All right, I spoke with the boss. And uh, here's where it's going to go. So as you see, right under the window so you can actually look at the plants. I got the matting in. Now that's not going to stop all the weeds, but it'll stop most of the weeds from coming in once I get the dirt in there and get the matting up on the sides. Wondering why that piece of steel is still sitting there? Because it weighs a ton. And my old behind is not wanting to carry that right now, so it's going to stay there. However, it's got to go because she's now decided she wants another one right here. So, I to carry the dirt over and get the dirt in it. I'll show you what we got for dirt here. I apologize again for the wind, guys. So what we bought was two bags of the black earth. They're the 20 liter bags. This was $1.99 each. And then I bought a bag of this here. Um, 112 liters. It's a pretty big bag, but it was $27. $27. So I'm going to get that stuff carried over here, put in there, and then uh, it'll be ready to go.
want you all to know on that little sequence there, me carrying the bags over. I forgot to hit the record button, which means I carried it all back. Hit the record button and carried it all here again. I'm breathing a little hard right now. Maybe I need to work out just a little bit more. That's what happens when you rip it, you pull the weeds through. So here's where we're at. We got our two bags of black earth, black dirt on the bottom. We got that big bag of mix on the top, and it still is barely half full. So what we do now is we go get another probably 10 bags of the black earth, put it on top of this to bring the bed up to where it needs to be. That's ready to plant. Another job done. I think I deserve a break. She's not home, so I, I'm taking a break. We have everything cleaned up, everything put away. Here, actually, I'll show you the end result. There we go. Like I said before, another 10 or 12 bags of dirt. We'll cover that just nicely. It'll be ready for planting. Last thing on the list of my to-do list today is grass seed. Now, here, have a look. As you see here, that's where the pool goes, so I don't care about that. But I just, in a future video, you're going to see me dig that out and make it a, a bowl. But with two German Shepherds, it makes it hard to grow grass. Especially right here. So, I'm going to put some grass seed down. And call it a day. I'm about to go pick up Nate. We're heading to the Southern Ontario Motor Speedway tonight to watch the races. I'll bring you along. You guys will get to see some of that. But uh, I gotta get the grass seed down first. Again, it doesn't matter whether you live in the city, you got a little bit of space, even use a bucket. If you want fresh vegetables, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it costs a total of, with the dirt and the wood, it was approximately $70. The dirt costs more than the wood, if you can imagine that. And not to get political here because I don't get political on this channel, but if you think I don't know what's going on, you're sadly mistaken uh, everybody sees the price of food and if you can grow your own it's a lot cheaper and it's not a lot of work keep that in mind modifieds are set to go 